just want to post a video on what Roll Caribbean, I think, is starting to do. I feel like they're starting to go downhill and care more about capacity than what the customer wants. So, and I'm going to show you an example here. So they got a seven night uh, Bahamas cruise on the 10th of August to the 17th because the Nassau Perfect Day Bimini QS. It's a fairly decent, you know, Bahama itinerary um, out of Tampa on one of their oldest boats. I don't have a problem with old boats, but it's one of their oldest boats. Just something to keep in the con take into consideration. For two adults, I can't do a balcony room. But if I put three people in a balcony room, that is allowed. And what they're doing here is they're saying these balcony rooms hold three people, four people. So we're not going to let, we're not even going to let two people book them anymore. So if you want a spacious ocean view balcony room on this boat, um, you have to be cruising with three or four people um, because they want more people in the rooms, AKA more people in the boats. Now, mind you, last year I did cruise with Royal. I'm a diamond member, nothing too crazy, but I am a diamond member. And I did two people on a spacious ocean view balcony room that slept three or four people just fine. We paid a little bit more than if you would have done three or four people that's expected, but they don't even give you that option anymore. You're basically, they're basically saying, you know, if you want to cruise in, um, if you want a balcony room, you have to get the smaller one for two people, which is fine, but I'm not sitting in this room with three people. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm, I'm not happy with this. I don't like that they're doing this. Um, and I mentioned this as an older ship in the past, and here's why. So this cruise is $1,044 for a seven night with four ports on Royal's second or third oldest ship. On Princess, they're doing a seven day, and it's three ports instead of four, but it's San Juan, St. Thomas, Princess K. And... If I book this one, look at this, two people and a mini suite, a mini suite is only $1,100. So for less than $100 more, I could do a mini suite on a premium cruise line. And this is one of their newer ships. So I don't know. I don't know what Royal Caribbean's thinking. Um, I'm just... I was trying to make my way up to Pinnacle, but this type of stuff, this is going to turn me off to Royal Caribbean. And I just want to make people aware of it because they, they're, they're making a lot of mistakes here and I'm not, I'm not happy with it.